inspired by nostalgia, romance, and embracing simpler times. This limited edition collection infused with our exclusive butter blend takes an artisanal approach to beauty that is harmonious with nature and celebrates the sweeter things in life. Hi everybody! Today I have the Physician's Formula Bread and Butter Collection. It's so pretty, isn't it? So this comes with two bread and butter bronzers, um, one highlighter, a blush, and three lip glosses. This is what it looks like inside. Very, very beautiful. I'm definitely going to keep this box. Artisanal. Makes me think of bread, definitely, because it's the bread and butter collection. That is just so pretty. You have the bronzers and they look just like baked bread. Oh, so beautiful. You got the champagne toast highlighter, which I think they already have. The three watermelon sugar lip glosses. And what really made me want to get this is the strawberry jam blush. It's called bread and butter, so I was hoping that there was something butter themed as well in here. Maybe like... A square of a butter highlighter that would have been so cute or like a piece of butter in the middle so I saw Tati with this blush which made me want to get this right away the packaging it's like it's like a basket basket weaving strawberry jam oh my goodness so pretty it smells like strawberry. So when I open this, it smells like a picnic. Ugh, this would be so cute if this PR box was like an actual basket. Oh, it's so cute. Okay. So it smells, it smells like baked goods. It smells like sugary sweetness and it smells like a picnic day. Let's just, let's just sit here for a while and enjoy this really cute packaging this is not gonna be so much of a review but more like let's just try this together when i saw tati's video on this sadly this is only a spray over so once i use this the cute strawberries are gone mmm so cute okay so let's try on the blush Actually, let's do this last because this is obviously the star of the show. As you know, with the pandemic, the strawberry dress definitely had its time to shine. In the promotional photos for this collection, we're just, I thought we're so beautiful. Um, I noticed though that the model is wearing a strawberry dress. Everyone knows that the strawberry dress is very iconic for 2020. But I noticed she was wearing a dupe and I was thinking Physician's Formula, I'm sure they have enough money to get the real the real Lyrica Matoshi strawberry dress. So I thought they have enough money to buy it but then I thought about oh because it may have been a conflict of interest Lyrica Matoshi and Physician's Formula. I mean you wouldn't have let's say like L'Oreal have a campaign and the models wearing Louis Vuitton. So, I guess conflict of interest, but she did wear a dupe of the strawberry dress, which I still thought, you know, it tied everything together. It was definitely a campaign for the time, which is practically now still, but it was just so, I thought was so beautifully done. Let's try the butter bronzers. Everyone I feel like loves the Physician's Formula butter bronzers. I've never tried them. This is going to be my first time trying them. Butter bronzers, I'm assuming because it's super smooth. This one is called Toasty. And this one is called Baked. Baked is a darker bronzer. There's like a sweetness, a subtle sweetness to it. It's so nice. And I like these. They're just, I think they're a really cute shape, a really cute size. I'm not picky with brushes. I use my hands too. The Baked 
bronzer. I'm gonna use a little bit as eyeshadow. Am I even according? Okay, okay, okay. Right here. Yep, there's a lot of kickback. I don't think I, ha I tried anything Physician's Formula ever. This is my first time. Okay, very pigmented. The window's really washing me out, but believe me, it's very pigmented. It's a very nice brown, very warm, very, very warm toned. It's coming off more reddish than it does in the pan. Okay, that's my eyeshadow. Wow, that is really a pigmented bronzer. Okay. Oh, it's so pretty. I just, I love it. <laughs> it's warm, but not too red. Which is interesting because it looks more cool toned in the pan. I'm gonna use this brush and I'm gonna use it as bronzer. Oh, so much kickback and it spreads all over. To be careful with it. Okay, so I'm gonna use bakes on this side of my face and I'll use the other bronzer on the other side. See, because like if I flip this to look at the mirror, all the powder is gonna fall out. It's okay, I'm not paid for this. I bought this myself. Let's see. Ooh. It's a really nice color. any warmth there's so much I don't want to blow it away I'll figure it out later bronzer no bronzer ah uh. It blends so nicely though. It's so smooth looking. Now I'm gonna try the bronzer in Toasty. I'm gonna use this brush. Oh, okay. I'm feeling it with my finger. It's so soft. Almost like how a Squishmallow feels. <laughs> how would this look? That's very nice. Oh my gosh, this is so soft. Okay, I get it. Mm, it's everywhere. It's like so messy. Okay. My brush. Could you tell the difference? Well, this one's obviously lighter and it's more cool toned. I like both, but I like the burnt, what was this called? Baked. I like the baked better. It just gives more warmth to the face. This one is very subtle, I feel. This one, toasty is more subtle. Baked, toasty. I do like baked more. Now I'm gonna go in with the blush in Strawberry Jam. I'm actually gonna use a blush brush for this. I'm so sad, this is gonna go away. Oh, it smells good. Okay. You can see the imprint of the strawberries. I'm so sad. Okay. Blush. Wow, that is so pigmented. But I am using the color from the overspray. So after all this red is gone, it might just be like a regular pink blush. Definitely rosy. Rosy cheeks. Oh my gosh, I went overboard. I went I, too much, too much, too much. It looks like a delicate wash of color, but in person I put a lot of blush on. Oh, but it's so pretty. I love blush. Oh, so pretty. Okay. I love this. Love this blush. Here is Let's Toast. Does it smell like champagne? 
smells like something. Okay, so this is the lighter color. And this is darker color. Ooh, wow. That is pretty. I think the lighter highlighter color is also an overspray. But that is nice. Yep, it is. It's an overspray. And that is, it's very powdery. Uh oh, it's okay. I'm gonna go out to eat. Everyone's gonna see this look. It's Mother's Day of the time I'm filming this. Um, and I don't know when I'll put this out. <laughs> I still have videos from like Christmas. Um, I still have to edit. It's okay. I'm the only one that watches my videos. <laughs> Look at that highlight. I love highlight. Oh, it's so, it's so pigmented. Looking at this just makes me want to have a picnic in my strawberry dress. Let's try the watermelon sugar glosses. So these are the three colors. Cute watermelon tops. Oh, on top there's a sticker that says proceed support Earth Day. Well, cool, because I bought this PR box. <laughs> so Lyrica Matoshi also recently came out with a watermelon dress. I have thoughts about it, but I think these match it so well. I just love makeup that's food and fruit themed. It just makes everything so much more fun. I get excited when I put my makeup on and it's nice to look at. Okay, so first I will try this color. Let's see, it's more like of a pinky brown. This is the Watermelon Sugar Lip Gloss and it's called Yummy. Interesting, they have like two names. Well, I don't know if the other half is supposed to be like French, but this one's called Yummy <laughs> Miam Miam. This one's called sweet slash adorable. And this one is called juicy slash exquisite. Exqui. Okay, so first I'll try yummy. The camera turned off, so I hope I was recording the whole time. One melon sugar. Oh. Ooh, okay. Smells like watermelon candy not too overpowering not too overwhelming and artificial it smells like a watermelon drink and it's a brush it's not a doe foot applicator let's try this wow i like that color okay this is a really thick gloss very thick oh my goodness this is so pretty Mmm. Yummy. I think that's the name of it. Yummy. Oh, okay. This is just one coat, one dip, and it covers so well. It's very pigmented. Not, not like a slight wash of color not sheer thick and pigmented that is so pretty oh my goodness that's yummy very nice i like it is this my favorite so far maybe oh my god i love it so much there's like a dusty pink quality quality to it which really matches this dress. Next is Sweet. More bright pink. Oh. Oh, maybe it's my mind, but the first one smelled more like watermelon than this. Ugh. Okay. Almost like like a like in between a bubblegum pink and a strawberry milk pink. This one 
is more sheer than yummy. Very natural. And last one is called Juicy. It looks like a watermelon Jolly Rancher. This one is sheer as well. So the first one I tried definitely had more like richness and color to it. And the other two pink ones are more like a wash of color. Oh, but it looks so juicy! I got this package a long time ago. I just never had time to film this. But I'm glad I did. I finally got the chance to do it today. This is such a fun collection. I'll be right back. I'll take a photo so you actually see what this looks like. So that's it for this video today. I had a lot of fun trying this out with you guys. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye! I'm gonna go to Mel's now and have my milkshake.